And, uh, and uh, well, that's other things I want to talk about is like uh, the, the idea of Christ consciousness and psychedelic stories and stuff like that. Like harking back to the last talk when we were talking about uh, uh, ecstasy uh, and how they, you know that promote uh, promotes like a real sense of well-being and empathy on its users. I've taken a syphilis course and you aren't getting no dodgy rat poison shit. But uh, it promotes uh, like a really like healthy well-being and some would almost say it was similar to what Christ must have been going through, a Christ consciousness. And, no, and uh, the idea of Christ consciousness is that there's people from all walks of life in every culture in the world, be it Buddhist, be it Muslim, be it fucking, you know, fucking Christian, whatever. But uh, they all are, are basically just ascended spiritual masters who have reached uh, a level of complete non-ego dissolution where they become bliss, reportful, inspirational, they all are influential. Uh, they have a blissful uh, fucking atmosphere by being around and you know their, their knowledge is always uh, never tested by ego. You know, when it's like the idea that the Bible isn't just a made up story but it's an actual psychological stit that humans can transcend it as sentient beings, you know what I mean? So I'm big into the idea of Christ consciousness. I'm big into the idea of how Christ consciousness uh, can manifest in psychedelic drugs like fucking uh, ecstasy where you get that loved up totally happy feeling all the time and also uh, some of the fucking things that I read about the Holy Spirit feeling the, the eternal uh, soul of the fucking no you're inside being burning forever I've had that on fucking psychedelics as well I literally f uh, felt my body and soul reduced to nothing but a burning entity just like a candle burning forever I could feel the power of my soul just burning like fuck it was mind blowing and it opened me up into the ideas that that's what the, they talk about when they say the Holy Spirit. Now you can laugh at your ass off and say, oh, screw you, just talk too much drugs, man, you think you're Jesus by tackle, we've all done that before, for fuck's sake, we've all done a wee bit of drugs before. No, but it was, it, what I'm starting to realise is that old idea going around now that's on YouTube and stuff, is that uh, maybe some of those religious texts definitely were borrowed from a... Uh, bar from psychedelic experiences. I mean, even if you go into a church and you look at how a church ornate uh, imagery and the ceilings and the, the curves and, you know, all the patterns, it's like, uh, it's very much uh, evoking of this type of stitch you get under when you're on fucking psychedelics. So uh, Christ consciousness is something, something worth thinking about. And also, they go on the other side of that there. You know, you can also look at the side of things where uh, Christ consciousness and goes, there, there's always them fucking lunatics that take it down on our level and they really think they are Jesus Christ. Like, they totally believe it's not a mode of consciousness. They believe they are JC and the fucking flesh. That's the boys I got there. You need to watch. One of these boys is a boy called Marshall Applewhite. Or Marshall Applegate, or Applewhite, or Applegate, whatever he called it anyway, but uh, he started up a cult called Heaven's Gate. And uh, they all basically thought that uh, they were all like uh, non human beings and they had trans, uh, trans, transgressed a higher uh, non human state of mental capabilities. And uh, the big delusion that that uh, cult had was that uh, there was a huge intergalactic spaceship traveling behind a comet hail bop and it was going to come in the Armageddon and sweep their souls up so they could go on the our fucking universe and uh, reach a, a status of clear and clear was of course their death where they were where they uh, actually all ended up fucking topping themselves uh, that's where Christ consciousness can go the wrong way definitely you're on a fast track to nowhere with that sort of Jesus consciousness uh, he was so fucking mad uh, that uh, he had them all fucking castrating themselves they all cut off their fucking dicks and all and uh, abstained from sex and sexual thoughts they were all fucking cooked 
And then you've other boys like fucking Brian Jonestown, the Jonestown Massacre, where he convinced them all that he was uh, basically the fucking the second coming incarnate. They all moved away to this wee island, I think it was off Hawaii or somewhere like that. He had them down within a few months. Uh, it was it was no longer uh, let's all hold hands in the happy tree of Garden of Life. It was uh, constant propaganda pumped out from speakers all over the fucking fort, and he was telling them about how the fucking communists are coming and watch how ye betray thee in the name of Jesus, for I am the Jonestown Psychotic Massacre. He was a fucking lunatic, lunatic. So that's where. That's where Jesus consciousness can go down a dark path. So even there, and even myself exploring psychedelics, you have to be careful with the fucking faculties of the mind. I mean, it's cool they uh, believe in Jesus, but uh, it's one thing they believe in him, and it's another thing to be surfing with him on a crest wave with a hundred fucking dinosaurs flying behind you and pink fucking pack a little fucking fluff attire. No, so it's something to think about for definite.